Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. Today's topic, we are going to discuss about projection in MongoDB, right? Uh, a lot of you will ask, hey, what's projection? That's what we did in last episode, right? Well, yes, the concept is similar. In fact, this is another name of it. Today, I'm just going to explain you what happens under the hood so that you can answer it in your interviews. This is mainly from your understanding and if someone asks you what is projection, how does MongoDB work, you should be able to answer that. This is part 15 of the MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. I have planned around 21 tutorials on MongoDB. Right now we are on episode number 15. Today we are learning projection in MongoDB, which is continuation of what we did in last episode, which is selecting fields. All right, so what is projection in MongoDB? So whenever you hear the word projection, don't get confused. It's just another name or I would say mechanism in which you can select certain fields for showing or hiding, right? So in the previous episode, if you learned, if you have followed it, you would see that we would put a one or zero to any particular field and we suppress it, right? So that exactly that mechanism in MongoDB is called projection, which means the content, what content needs to be projected to the output. Right? That is what is called as projection. Now that depends upon us because if we mention that go and get the details, it will get it. Else it will project all the content. Let me show you that with example. This is again purely from understanding perspective. It's the same as just like what we did for selecting fields. So please go through the selecting fields tutorial which we did in last episode. Today you will understand the concept a little better. So if you say find. You see, when you say find, it will get all the documents, all the keys, right? So by default, it will project all the data, details, right? So what is projection? So by default, it will bring up all keys, values from all documents in collection, right? But we start drilling it down. Right, drill it down. So how do we drill it down? By putting conditions, right? So we will say find and then we'll put conditions to it, right? Say tax 30, right? So this is how we will start putting the conditions to the method, right? So we, had, we will drill the number of documents. Then we will say number of documents will reduce. Then we will say we don't, if each of this document, let's say, has 60 keys, right? Now, we don't want all 60 keys all the time, right? We do not need them, all keys, right? We, we need only few keys, right? So, think of it like if you have a SQL statement, right? So, we would write something like this, select star from table, right? This is what we will write in traditional SQL or RDBMS. Right? So this will get you all the results. Similarly, find will get you all records or I would say all documents. Right? Now we are saying select first name right? from table. So when you do this in SQL, it will give you only first name right? of all the records. Same way what we have to do is we will write find it will take two parameters. First is the condition. The second is the fields that you want to take. In our case, we are saying tax should be displayed. Underscore ID should not be displayed. Lead name should be displayed, right? So you mention what columns or rather what keys you want to display, right? So what MongoDB will do is it will get all documents index them and then find matching documents and then extract the keys that we have asked for and this result set is projected to us or returned this result set is returned slash projected as output that's what happens in the background and that is what we call it as projections in MongoDB. 
i hope the concept is clear to you and in the next episode we are going to talk the most important most important feature of mongodb when you're working with no sql databases that's aggregation this is to join multiple collections together you don't want to miss on that if you like the video give a thumbs up share like comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much see you in the next episode we will cover about aggregations